Hi, this is Joshua Bowman, a.k.a. Faley's Disciple, and this is part of a series of videos on dynamical systems. In this video, we'll take a first detailed look at a dynamical system, one of the simplest examples, usually called a circle rotation, but which I'll illustrate with what I call carousel photography. Here's what's involved. Suppose you have a friend, or a child, riding a carousel that turns at a constant speed, and you take a picture of the carousel once per second. Will you ever take two pictures of your friend in exactly the same place? Of course, it depends on how much the carousel turns each second. For example, if in one second it makes a quarter turn, then after four iterations, every rider is back in his or her starting place. The general situation is described by choosing a number A between 0 and 360. Each second, every rider moves counterclockwise around the circle by A degrees. Then we repeat the process over and over. We just looked at what happens when A equals 90 degrees, which is a quarter turn. If A is 100 degrees, then after 18 iterations, every rider is back in their starting place. That's because 18 times 100 is a multiple of 360. In terms of the carousel, the 18th picture is taken at the moment every rider on the carousel has gone around exactly five times, because those 1800 degrees add up to five full rotations. In fact, if A is any whole number or fraction of degrees, then eventually every rider will end up back where they started after some finite number of photographs. But we know not all numbers are whole numbers or fractions. There are irrational numbers too, like pi, or the square root of 2. What happens if the carousel turns an irrational number of degrees each second? The key is to think about the collection of points within some fixed distance from a given rider, say D. As the rider turns, these points move with them. But these little collections of points can't all be separate because the circumference of the carousel is finite. So at some point in time, they have to overlap, meaning the rider is within a distance of 2D from where they started. We know they're not back exactly where they started, because the rotation is by an irrational amount. From then on, they continue to end up at points near where they were before. We could have chosen any distance d, and the same argument works, so there will be some sequence of photographs in which each rider is as close to where they started as we like. If you think about it a little more, you'll see that, in fact, given enough photographs, you can capture any rider as close as you want to any point of the carousel. So we see that there are two cases of circle rotations. Either every rider comes back to exactly the position where they started after some number of photographs, this happens if the angle of turning is rational, or every rider takes arbitrarily many different positions in the photographs, and these fill up the collection of all possible positions. This happens if the angle of turning is irrational. These behaviors are called periodic and dense. Both are important in dynamical systems. And that's all for this video. In the next one, we'll look at another system related to the circle and see how it ties these different behaviors together.